Hello Dice Art families. My name is Jim Dean, Assistant Superintendent for Support Services, and today I'm excited to provide to you information related to high school models for the 2020-2021 school year. In this very unique time, we are excited to provide two options for our high school students. The first option is full-time in-classroom and is similar to what students have experienced in the past. With this option, our students will return to the classroom when allowed by the governor. Until we can return to the classroom, our students will experience remote learning from their homes. However, our teachers will provide full-time instruction during the school day. In the full-time in-classroom model, remote learning will be held from August 4th to August 17th per the governor's order, and we will return to school as allowed. Our curriculum platform will allow seamless transitions if needed throughout the school year between remote learning and in-person classes. Both athletics and extracurricular activities will continue as allowed through the AIA and any future executive orders from the governor. During this initial time for the full-time classroom option, we will begin with remote learning. During remote learning, our students will be expected to log into their classes via Google Meet or Zoom at their normally assigned time. In other words, when it's time for first period to start, our teachers and students will log into the first period class. During second period, our students will log into their second period class, as will the teachers. And this will go on during the normal school day each day that we are on remote learning. Remote learning will look substantially different than it did from last quarter. Students and teachers will follow their regular bell schedule both in return to, to school and during remote learning. Additionally, during remote learning times, teachers will take attendance both at the beginning and end of each class period and all normal Dysart School District grading practices will apply. The second option for our high school students is iSchool. iSchool is our online high school platform that has been offered to students since 2012. In our iSchool platform, students attend courses completely online and have the option of either being full-time iSchool students or combining iSchool classes with in-person classes as well. For those students interested in attending iSchool, please visit our website at www.dicert.org forward slash iSchool for contact information and registration opportunities. Students who receive special education services on an IEP will also have options, though each student's unique circumstance might affect which options are possible. There will be some IEP teams that need to meet as soon as possible, even before school starts, to be able to consider if a student can receive FAPE in a given option. At this time, services will be provided in the following manner for each of the different instructional models. For option one, the full-time in-classroom model, students will continue to receive all instruction and services while physically on campus with enhanced protocols put in place by the district. During remote learning, students will also receive services from their special education teacher. With option two, iSchool, students will receive their content area instruction from their iSchool general education teachers virtually. They will also receive their special education services virtually from their iSchool service providers. There will be specific staff allocated to case managing and provide services to students in iSchool as part of their caseload. Also, please be aware that evaluation and child fine will continue with enhanced protocols for health and safety of both the evaluators and the students. When students are able to return to the school building, classroom safety guidelines have been enhanced to assure greater classroom safety opportunities. Please be aware that staff and students will be required to wear face coverings when social distancing is not possible on campus. Additionally, students will have temperature checked throughout the day. No large group assemblies will be held indoors. Emergency drills will continue as scheduled throughout the school year. We would also like to ask that students not share school supplies, that school supplies be provided only for each student and that they use them for their own needs. In the classroom, all desks will face forward, tables and flexible furniture will be rearranged, and we will remove excessive furniture to provide as much room in the classroom as possible. Finally, all of our high school students will receive a computer device to use for the entire school year. Each high school student will have the device checked out to them at the beginning of the school year and will return the device at the end of the school year. Each high school will communicate with parents and students regarding the details of picking up and checking out the device for the school year. We have received many questions about athletics and clubs in our high schools. 
All athletics and extracurricular activities will continue as allowed through the AIA and any future executive orders from the governor. The Dysart Unified School District is all in with our three A's, academics, athletics, and the arts. And we look forward to welcoming our students back to all of these activities. As we conclude this presentation, we'd like to answer a couple of frequently asked questions. One question that we've received often is, will I be able to transfer between iSchool and full-time in-person school during the school year? The answer is yes, however, transfers may only occur one time per semester. Other questions we've been asked include what happens if my child misses their class time during remote learning? Students are expected to attend classes and complete assignments each day in all classes. If an absence occurs, students will be contacted to make up assignments. Multiple absences may result in the loss of credit for the high school course. And finally, we've been asked what do we do if we do not have internet in our home? If that is the case, please contact your local high school and they may be able to assist. As one last reminder, all Dysart high schools will start either with remote learning or with iSchool on August the 4th. Again, students will pick up devices prior to this date at their school site and that information will be communicated to you by your local high school. We look forward to an extraordinary 2020-2021 school year and are excited to welcome our students back. Have a great school year.